Greetings, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, uh, Unreal Engine Maya camera workflow. So let's say I have this uh, thing I model in Maya. I have a camera movement. Okay, like this. I also have set it up uh, the thing in Unreal Engine, so all the things are having material and lighting. So after this, what I want to have is I want to have my Maya animation, uh, my Maya camera animation. Uh, exported uh, from Maya uh, to Unreal Engine so I can render out uh, the graphic uh, from Unreal Engine. Okay, so first step you want to have will be a cinematic and then a level sequence. Okay, now you want to store it somewhere. You can create a new folder and call it shots or something and then save it. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, uh, level sequence, save it. Okay, that's gonna create a sequence and it, it will also open the sequencer. Okay, uh, you can pl place it anywhere you want it to be. Okay, all right. So after that, you also want to give the sequencer a camera by clicking this button underneath sequencer. Okay, that's gonna create a camera called the cinematic camera actor okay and this camera will be the camera uh, being rendered uh, through okay now for now this camera has no animation of course you can key animation on it by keying the transform um, press s to key it and then maybe a few time later you can key it again so then you will have this animation okay but what i want is i want my animation to be exported from maya okay so how do you do that well, go back to Maya. Okay, you want to grab the render camera here. Okay, and then uh, I will have a little code to help you do that fairly quickly. If you run the code, it will open a window. It will ask you what camera to export. Just grab the render camera and then press that button. That's gonna put the name into it. Another thing you want to look for is the position offset. What's that? Well, if you go back to Unreal Engine. And select any model, for example this wall, and look at the transformation, you will see that the location here have offset. If you go back to Maya and grab the wall, you see the wall is having zero translation. Uh, the reason you have translation in our engine could be so many you know different reasons, like you drag them out into the scene, they will be positioned to the center of your viewport, which is not guaranteed to be the center of the world. So you probably will have this location offset. Okay. And to compensate that, all you have to do is just copy the values to XYZ position offset uh, in this uh, uh, little program. So 770 for X, Y is negative 830, and Z is negative 240. Okay. And then create. And then there will be a new camera called camera to export being created. Okay, you just need you just need to grab it and go to file export selection. Okay, and then what you want to go for is using the auto uh, Autodesk Media and Entertainment. Uh, let me put it on the desktop. Uh, and after that, you need to change animation, turn it on, use bake animations, and then define the animation time. Uh, my animation my animation is from 0 to 300 so that's uh, what's going to be set up here so from frame 1 to frame 300 and then uh, another thing you want to change will be underneath advanced uh, options uh, access uh, conver conversion uh, you want to change up access to z okay two things animation have to be checked down and the big animation okay define the correct frame range and then another thing it will be underneath advanced options, X, access conversion up, access will be Z. Okay. All right, that's all you have to do. Let's call it a uh, camera. Okay. When that is done, just go back to Unreal Engine and then right click on cinematic camera actor and then import, and then just import the camera open. Okay. Then the camera will be imported without any problem. All right, let's uh, zoom out and then change the time range. You can see that the camera position is matched exactly uh, with uh, the ones you have in Maya. Uh, if you look at what I have in Maya, it's the same orientation, location. 
so it's a perfect match. All right, that's all you have to do for the exporting from Maya to our engine uh, for the camera animation. And I will share this little uh, script uh, in the uh, in the uh, description underneath below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.